In this project, we will simulate the radiator heat transfer enhancement using hot nanofluid flow. The present model is designed in three dimensions using Design Modeler software. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh tab is on a structure. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. Now if you expand the fluid under the material section, you can see that two materials of air and water liquid are defined here. Now in order to add a new material, all you have to do is to right click on fluid and then click on new. Also if you click on the thermal tab, you can see that the thermal condition of heat flux is defined over this wall and the value of heat flux applied on this wall is equal to zero, which means that this wall is adiabatic. Now if you click on the second report, again you can see that the same settings are selected here. However, there is a small difference, which is that uh, under the surface section, for this report, we have selected the out water boundary. Now, in order to extract this 3D contour, all you have to do is to click on volume rendering button and accept the appear view. After that, on the low left side of the software window, in front of the variable section, you can select your desired variable, which in this slide, we have selected this temperature. After that, by clicking on the apply button, the software will show you this contour. Now, as you can see in this 3D contour, uh, the temperature of the tubes uh, has obviously a higher value in comparison with the air flow passing over them because of the passage of the hot nanofluid inside it. Now, as you can see in this contour, the air flow passes over these tubes and its temperature will increase. And now in this slide, you can easily observe the velocity distribution inside our computational model. Now, as was previously explained about the temperature in previous slides, here you can easily see the changes in both nanofluid passing inside the tubes and the air flow passing over the tubes. Finally, the summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates heat transfer inside a radiator with nanofluid flow using ANSYS Fluent software. The working mechanism of this radiator is such that the flow of hot fluid passes through the pipes inside the radiator. And on the other hand, the air flow also passes over the pipes. In this way, the air flow passes over the pipes carrying hot flow receiving their heat and as a result, a resulting hot air flow is transferred to the outside environment. In this simulation, hot nanofluid flows at a velocity of 0.1 meter per second and a temperature of 343.15 Kelvin through three pipes inside the radiator. And cold air flows at a velocity of 3 meter per second and a temperature of 293.15 Kelvin over the pipes. The present model is designed in three dimensions using Design Modeler software. The model includes a symmetrical radiator, which is semi drowned due to its symmetrical geometry structure and in order to avoid heavy calculation. This radiator has an inlet and outlet section on both sides. Also, inside this radiator, three pipes have been designed for the passage of nanofluid flow. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is on a structure. The element number is 1,625,568. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.